As yet the Q-thought forms, comparatively, can be said to be constructed by the center of consciousness, the thinker, the ego. Few people as yet are in such close touch with their higher self, or ego, that they can build the matter of the mental plane into a form which can be truly said to be an expression of the thoughts, purpose or desire of their ego, functioning through the physical brain. Most of the thought forms at present in circulation may be said to be aggregations of matter, built into form with the aid of kama manas, or of desire faintly tinged with mind producing thus an admixture of astral and mental matter, mostly astral and largely due to reflex elemental action. These dualities of expression are 1. Active fire or prana INTROVUCTORYMARKS 47 Latent fire or bodily heat 2. Mental energy in the mental body Purely mental thought forms, animated by self-engendered fire, or by the fifth principle, and therefore part of the sphere, or system of control, of the monad. These form an esoteric quaternary which with the fifth factor, the divine spark of intelligent will, make the vibe of monodic manifestation manifestation in this case connotating a purely subjective manifestation which is neither altogether spiritual nor altogether material. 3. Finally there is the monodic flame divine. This embodies the highest vibration of which the monad is capable, is governed by the law of synthesis, and is the cause of the forward progressive movement of the evolving jiva. When o come, in due course, to the point of merging or to the end of manifestation, and to the consummation viewing it monadically of the great cycle or mandantara. What shall we therefore find? Just as in the macrocosm the blending of the three essential fires of the cosmos mark the point of logoic attainment, so, in the blending of the essential fires of the microcosm, we arrive at the apotheosis of human attainment for this cycle. When the latent fire of the personality or lower self blends with the fire of mind, that of the higher self, and finally merges with the divine flame, then the man takes the fifth initiation in this solar system, and has completed one of his greater cycles. L3 when the three blaze forth as one fire, liberation from matter, or from material form is achieved. Matter has been correctly adjusted to spirit, and finally the indwelling life slips forth out of its sheath which forms now only a channel for liberation. 13 These terms, lower self, higher self, divine self, are apt to be con. 48 ATREATISONCOSMICFIRE 3. Fire in Manifestation To continue our consideration of the fires which sustain the economy of the visible solar system, and of the visible objective human being, which produce evolutionary development, and which are the basis of all objective efflorescence, it must be noted that they demonstrate as the sum total of the vital life of a solar system, of a planet, of the entire constitution of active functioning man upon the physical plane, and of the atom of substance. Speaking broadly we would say that the first fire deals entirely with A, B, C, activity of matter the rotary motion of matter the development of matter by the means of friction under the law of economy hpv touches on this in the secret doctrine l4 the second fire 
that from the cosmic mental plane deals with a b c the expression of the evolution of mind or manas the vitality of the soul the evolutionary expression of the soul as it shows forth in the form of that elusive something which brings about the synthesis of matter. As the two merge by means of this active energizing factor, that which is termed consciousness appears. L5 as fusing until the student apprehends the various synonyms connected with them. The following table may be found helpful. Father, Spirit, Light, Monad, Divine Self, Spirit, The Point, Monad, Sun, Ego, Soul, Consciousness, Higher Self, Individuality, The Triad, Solar Angel, Mother, Form, Body, Personality, Lower self, personal self, the quaternary, lunar lords, 14 CS, D, I, 169, 562, 567, 569, 2, 258, 390, 547, 551, 552. 15 in the study of consciousness misses. Besant says page 37 Consciousness is the one reality, in the fullest sense of that much used phrase. INTROVUCTORYMARKS 49. The merging proceeds and the fires become more and more synthesized, that totality of manifestation which we regard as a conscious existence becomes ever more perfected. P. E. The operation of this fire under the law of attraction. The subsequent result in the spiral cyclic movement which we call, within the system, solar evolution, but which from the standpoint of a cosmos is the approximation of our system to its central point. This must be considered from the standpoint of time point 16. The third fire deals with a. The evolution of spirit. Practically nothing can at this stage be communicated anent this evolution. The development of spirit can be only expressed as yet in terms of the evolution of matter, and only through the adequacy of the vehicle, and through the suitability of the sheep, the body or form, in the point of. It follows from this that any reality found anywhere is drawn from consciousness. Hence, everything which is thought, is that consciousness in which everything is, everything literally, possible, as well as, actual, actual being that which is thought of as existent by a separated consciousness in time and space, and possible all that which is not so being thought of at any period in time and any point in space we call absolute consciousness. It is the all, the eternal, the infinite, the changeless, Consciousness, thinking time and space, and of all forms as existing in them in succession and in places, is the universal consciousness, the one, called by the Hindu the Saguna Brahman the eternal with attributes the Pratyagatma the inner self, by the Parsi, Hormuz, by the Muslim, Allah. Consciousness dealing with a definite time, however long or short, with a definite space, however vast or restricted, is individual, that of a concrete being, a lord of many universes, or a universe or of any so-called portion of a universe, his portion and to him therefore a universe these terms varying as to extent with the power of the consciousness, 
so much of the universal thought is a separate consciousness can completely think, i.e., on which he can impose his own reality, can think of his existing life himself, is his universe. Quote. 16. Universal Consciousness, Manifesting as Consciousness in Time and Space, as Mrs. Besant so ably expresses it, includes all forms of activity and spiral cyclic evolution from the standpoint of cosmic evolution, and in terms of absolute consciousness, may again be rotary. 50. A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E -E on Cosmic Fire Spiritual development reached in any way be a phrase. A word of warning should here be interpolated. Just as it is not possible upon the physical plane for the physical vehicle fully to express the total point of development of the ego or higher self, so it is not possible even for the ego fully to sense and express the quality of spirit. Hence the utter impossibility for human consciousness justly to appraise the life of the spirit or monad. Peace. The working of the flame divine under the law of synthesis a generic term which will be seen eventually to include the other two laws of subdivisions. C. The subsequent result of forward progressive motion a motion which is rotary, cyclic and progressive. The whole matter dealt with in this treatise concerns the subjective essence of the solar system, not primarily either the objective or spiritual aspect. It concerns the entities who indwell the form, who demonstrate as animating factors through the medium of matter, and primarily through etheric matter, who are evolving a second faculty, the fire of mind, and who are essentially themselves points of fire, cast off through cosmic friction, produced by the turning of the cosmic wheel, swept into temporary limited manifestation and who eventually to return to their central cosmic center. They will return plus the results of evolutionary growth, and through assimilation they will have intensified their fundamental nature, and be spiritual fire plus the fire manasic. The internal fire of matter is called in the secret doctrine, fire by friction. It is an effect and not a cause. It is produced by the two fires of spirit and of mind, electric and solar fire, contacting each other through the medium of matter. This energy demonstrates in INTROVUCTORYMARKS 51. Matter itself is the internal fires of the sun, and of the planets and finds a reflection in the internal fires of man. Man is the flame divine and the fire of mind brought into contact through the medium of substance or form. When evolution ends, the fire of matter is not cognizable. It persists only when the other two fires are associated. And it does not persist apart from substance itself. Let us now briefly recognize certain facts regarding fire and matter and let us take them in order, leaving time to elucidate their significance. First we might say that the internal fire being both latent and active, shows itself as the synthesis of the acknowledged fires of the system, and demonstrates, for instance, as solar radiation and interplanetary combustion. This subject has been somewhat covered by science, and is hidden in the mystery of physical plane electricity, which is an expression of the active internal fires of the system and of the planet just as inner combustion is an expression of the latent internal fires. These latter fires are to be found in the interior of each globe, and are the basis of all objective physical life. 
Secondly, we might note that the internal fires are the basis of life in the lower three kingdoms of nature, and in the